hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. But anyway, like I said, this immigration thing is ridiculous. The the taking away from of our rights is ridiculous. And I'm just going to put this out there because everybody who's talked to me has heard this before. So those of you who've never talked to me and never heard my opinions and views before, I am right wing conservative. I am very much Republican uh, for my country. You know, very strict, very conservative. Um, Don't worry, we'll break you of that habit. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. But um, anyway. I'll say this on on the air here. I I would take 50 Clintons. I would take 150 Clintons over one Obama any day. And the reason being is because Clinton never tried to take away our rights as Americans. You know, he I don't agree with everything that he stood for. Yeah, he, he did. He did. But he put us. He time. put yeah. But he put us in the green. Oh, well, it's like I said. We earlier. had we had a renaissance when he was in office. We had jobs. I was employed. 100% of the time he was in office. You know, the second he got out of office and Bush started with his wars and then, you know, uh, the 9-11 bombing and then, you know, uh, now Obama in office, I haven't seen a job in seven years. And trust me, I look every day. I, um, I'm on county aid. I'm not ashamed or afraid to tell anybody that. I am on county aid. I have to look for work every day in order to get my benefits. Um, I have to turn in my hour sheets at the end of the week and if I don't turn in my hour sheets, I get cut of my benefits. Yeah. But my my main thing is is that is that you know where's my job? I'm an American that lives here. You know where's my job? And I, I haven't seen anything happen. And like I said, Clinton put us back in the green when he was in office. I was working yeah, the entire time things, he was in office. Things have gotten bad, and that's because <clears throat> progressively worse. It's snowballed. I mean, and it's, it's just getting all. worse and worse. It's just shit swirling in the fucking toilet. You, you gotta, you gotta suspect that it was obviously planned. I mean, you can't fuck up this bad by accident. I'm sorry, but you can't. You were either, and if you do, you're a real dumb motherfucker, and should have never been elected in the first place. But you know what? Being that there are so many hands involved, not just the presidency, but Congress, Senate, House of Representatives, yeah, all, all, all the all the government government branches. You, can't put the blame on just one person because right. it's a world problem as well. Right. So it, it's not just the fuck up of one man; it's the fuck up of several men and hundreds. And, and of you got it. And you can't figure that. You know, one out of ten people I can believe are an idiot. All and ten, I'm sorry, this is fine. And my thing it. is too is you know Obama plays off he's for poor people and he wants to help poor people and this and that. Well, you know what? I haven't seen one poor person that I've helped more or that that he's helped more than me I personally help people every day every day and that's all you can do you know and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who it is or where they're at you can cut this into two segments I know you're trying yeah, to get along but just yeah, we're going to cut it into two segments I'm gonna, because I'm we're just going to we're going to fucking run with this because I still got more who's Dale and Dale and Pat too baby <laughs> but basically the thing of it is is that I think personally that you know He's a liar. Um, you know, we elected him the first term, you know, under all these false uh, promises and pretenses. And the American population, because I didn't vote the second time, so I really don't have a leg to stand on when I fucking complain right now, but just because of how hard it is for me to get word he, in my... He pro basically, <clears throat> he promised he'd be raining pussies, and we got hit with a dick. No, I'm just wondering why we were so stupid as Americans to elect him a second term. Well, here, here's the what thing. The a lot, hell of, is wrong a lot of people suspect this. You know you know about the whole Skull and Bone Secret Society shit. Yes. And, you know, it's very plausible that these people are groomed to be our politicians and that they are put in office and that our vote really doesn't count. I mean, why don't we have a fucking paper trail? you got to ask that. Why don't we have a fucking paper trail? Is it because the votes don't count and the INS voting machines are owned by the globalists and they put who they want in office, like many people suspect? Or is it just a flaw in the electoral college? Or what's the issue? You know, what, whatever the problem is, in, we need to get to the root of it. You know, I notice in the activist community, a lot of times, we just pick at the fucking leaves of, of these weeds. But we're not getting to the root of the problem. We're not grabbing it by the fucking balls. Once again with the dick jokes, but anyway. Well, in, in all seriousness, <laughs> you know, 
what do you what do you do? You know, you gotta sometimes you gotta fucking know. You gotta grab my black by the balls. Thing you gotta grab the bull by the fucking horns. How do you I fucking get, I get that, I get that, but <clears throat> American people in general have been so stupid as to elect him a second time. What the fuck are you thinking, people? I just don't understand your If you don't your elect motivation. him, he's gonna say we're racist. Seriously, you know what? I, I would take and this is bad to say, I would take Hillary Clinton over Obama. Because that and that's pr- pretty bad because she's yeah. just as evil and as he she, is. Yeah, she's part of the Obama administration. I don't agree with the damn thing that fucking comes out of her mouth either. Well, but you know what it's, you know what it's going to be if she gets elected. It's not going to be the racial issue. It's going to be the sexist issue. And you know what? It's going to be a trendy fucking thing, like when Obama got elected. Exactly. It's be we trendy. Elect- we elected. He, he got we elected an African American to be elected for president because it was the first fucking time an African American has ran. And then you know now it's going to be the first time a woman has ran, and she's going to win the presidency because yeah, it's that- a trendy fucking thing to do. Come the fuck on, people. Yeah, and they're also Who? Been talking about Mitt Romney <clears throat> maybe running in 2016 as well. Who if- elects for trend? Yeah. Elect. For knowledge, elect for you know uh, uh, skill, you know elect for the people who know what the fuck's going on. Well, here, here, here's a, a junior fucking senator. Come on, people, a or, second term, really? Well, here, think about this. You know, a lot of people look at the voting system. Oh, you're voting for the lesser of two evils, the giant douche or the turd sandwich, as the South Park episode reference. It doesn't matter. Though. It doesn't matter. It the way I see it, <clears throat> if you know. If the majority doesn't like either candidate, which there should be more than one candidate because there's more than just the Republican and Democratic Party. I mean, when I moved up here, I had to fucking do my voter registration. There was more than just Republican and Democrat. I say, fuck it, let's all vote for Roseanne Barr. Fuck it. I mean, she's running, so let's let's just fucking vote her in. Why? Because she's a fucking trendy fucking person to vote for? Uh Uh-uh. I don't think so, people. Yeah, let's get somebody... I keep saying it. Let's get a real fucking American office. If we don't like option A or option B, fucking kick them all out. Let's Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter as long as you're for America. I don't care your views and opinions on life because that's pretty much yeah. where Democrat and Republican come into play. What I care about is that you're for the American people mostly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This guy is not. Yeah, I don't want the a, past I don't president. Want a Republican. I don't want a Democrat. I don't want a Tea Party. I, I want, want a goddamn American. 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 Thank you. And you know what? Me and Chris don't really agree a lot of the time, especially with our different views on and opinions on you know politics and whatnot. But well, I do I'm an agree. asshole. I, I I'll say it loud and proud. I'm a fucking asshole. Well, I'm a dick. So there you go. And now you with the dick <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I walked into that fucking buzzsaw. Anyway. Um, you know, I mean, just seriously, guys, a second term uh, for a guy that we all knew fucked up the first four years. Um, we voted him a second time. Now he's fucked up the next four years. Um, now that we're ending this fucking race, and I don't mean race as in racial, I mean race as in foot race. You know, now that we're done with this little mouse trap and this mouse fucking maze, can we please just elect the more qualified person this time? Seriously. Yeah, vote for last time around we elected a drug addict. This time around we elected a moron. <laughs> hey, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't religious. <laughs> that was Mitt Romney. That was Mitt Romney. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, and I can say I'm a moron. I'm, 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 I'm a moron. I'm a Mormon, damn it. So I can call it. I can say it. You know, anybody, anybody who knows me, especially in the church, I am the most off the wall. Twisted Mormon you will ever meet. I do not fit the, quote, criteria. I'm a Mormon. I hold priesthood. But I am the nuttiest motherfucking Mormon you will ever meet. And the thing, I'm but the, smoking an e-cig. But the thing of it is, too, is that you're a very devout person to your religion. You know what I mean? You believe in it strongly. And that's all it takes to make a religious person or, or in your sense, a Mormon. You know what I mean? You just well, have to believe in the doctrine and be able to preach it to other people. You know why, I'm not, you know why I don't want to fit the criteria? Because I refuse to live a lie. I refuse to be uh, all holier than thou. Right? Not not just that. I refuse to live an illusion. I refuse to be an illusion. And that's what a lot of these politicians are. They're illusions. They are sh- they are what everybody else tells them to be. And unfortunately, it's the wrong people. But you know what? I'm fucking real. I just have to make I, an, I just have to make an analogy here. And I'm sorry to to interrupt you. But this this flag is awesome, and I know I know what it stands for. But think of this as the president of the United States here. 
who's next? Whose face do you want here? Whose face do you want in our textbooks for our children to learn about? Seriously, who's going to lay the path for our children? I have a five-year-old, I have a two-year-old. And who's going to be leading this country and showing you know these kids how to act when they're older? I mean, this guy is the quote-unquote spokesperson for the entire United States.